Well, I'm our fact of Mars, and the Washington Compost, in my opinion, is trying to smear Judge Roy Moore. This is a great man. He's devout Christian. He's the one who got fired because he had the Ten Commandments outside of his courtroom. The left has been after him for a long time. Lady Corfman says she was 14 years old when an older man approached her outside the courtroom in Etowa County, Alabama. She was sitting on a wooden bench with her mother, they both recall, when the man introduced himself as Roy Moore. It was early 1979, and Moore, now the Republican nominee for Alabama for U.S. Supreme Senate seat, was a 32-year-old assistant district attorney. He struck up a conversation question, and her mother said, Offered to watch the girl while he, her mother went inside for a child custody hearing. He said, Oh, you don't want her to go in there and hear all that. I'll stay out here with her. This girl from his mother, Nancy Wells. I thought, How nice for him to want to take care of my little girl. Now, if you believe this, you got to be plain because, you know, what kind of mother would leave? Her uh, 14 year old daughter on the bench with some stranger. So, Carson met poor Chad with her and asked her for her phone number. She says, days later, she says, he picked her up around the corner from her house. He danced and drove her about 30 minutes to his home in the woods, told her how pretty she was, and kissed her. Now, second visit. Says, she says he took off her shirt and pants and removed her clothes, his clothes. Touched her over her bra and underpants, she, sa she says, and guided her hand to touch him over his underwear. I wanted it over with, I wanted it out. She remembers thinking, please just get this over with, or this is, just get it over. Corfin says, she asked Moore to take her home, and he did. Two of Corfman's childhood friends say she told them at the time that she was seeing an older man, and one says Corfman identified the man as Moore. That is hearsay and useless. Well, says she, her daughter told her about the encounter more than a decade later as Moore was becoming more prominent as a local judge. Aside from the Corfman, there are three other women interviewed by the Washington Post, Washington Compost, and recently say Moore pursued them when they were between the ages of 16 and 18, and he was in his early 30s. Episodes they say they found flattering at the time, but trouble against the animal. None of the three women said more foursome than any sort of relationship or sexual contact. They found another bimbo. Uh, Wendy Miller says she was 14 working as Sanders' helper in Gadsden Mall when Moore first approached her and 16 when he asked her on dates, which her mother forbade. Debbie Wesson Gibson says so she was 17 when Moore spoke to her in the high school civics class and asked her out on the first of several dates that did not progress beyond kissing. Claudia Thacker Deason says so she was 18 year old cheerleader when Moore began taking her on dates that included bottles of Matum Rose wine. Legal drinking age in the Alabama was 19. So they're going all out to attack this man. Uh, I don't believe this stuff. I got something to show you that doesn't prove anything, but just to give you an idea of who Lee Corfman is today. Like I said, it doesn't prove anything. If you, uh, I found this Stars Informer. Interesting should be on a uh, site like this. Now, if we scroll down, let's see if I can find it. Here's her uh, profession. 
payday loan work. That's a fancy type of loan shark, in case you don't know. Those payday places are uh, essentially loan shark operations when they they you know charge people all sorts of huge amounts of interest in order to get their payday early, and then their paycheck goes to the loan shark. Like I said, it doesn't prove anything other than we know what she uh, is. So, I don't believe this. Washington Compost is a well-known liar. They, uh, been caught, they're caught constantly in uh, different issues, so, sorry, don't believe it. They're coming up with these bimbos and they're making all these charges about Roy Moore in order to destroy him. They attacked him viciously because he had the Ten Commandments outside of his courtroom that cost him his judgeship. And then, now they're attacking him again because he's running for the Senate. Finding all sorts of bimbos who uh, go after him and tell lies about him. Sorry, I don't believe it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve this message.